Hey guys, long time no see. This is Mr. Stevens, and uh, here's another song maker tutorial. Today we're doing BTS Dynamite. So let's light it up. Uh, let's take a listen to the final product, and then I'll take you through step by step, and we'll build it together. Great. So we got a good listen to what the final product is going to sound like. We're doing just the chorus today, not the verse. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a brand new song maker. Now yours will be blank when you open up here. And let's go to the settings. And here's what we're going to have to change. We're going to have to change our range to three octaves. We're going to start on low E. Make sure it's not middle E. It's got to be low E. We're going to keep the scale in major. We're going to change the length to eight bars and then we're going to split beats into four so that means instead of toddy toddy we're going to have those eight notes taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi okay so again that's three octaves low e major key the length will be eight bars and split beats into four and then hit the blue check mark and your screen should appear something like mine now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the drum beats in the bottom. And that's pretty easy. Beat one, going to be just a bass dot. Okay, just the dot. And then beat two, we're going to do the bass and the snare. So the circle and the, and the triangle. Beat three, just the dot for the bass. Beat four, bass triangle. That's measure one. Measure two is the gray section. Same exact rhythm. Bass on beat one, bass snare on beat two. Bass on one, beat one. Uh, sorry, beat one, and bass triangle um, on beat four. So one, two, three, four is going to be the pattern for that. And you're just going to go right to the end. Now you'll notice the only two measures that are different, the only two measures that are different are measures four and eight. On measure four, which is this gray measure, one, two, three, four. On beat three, you're gonna add a triangle on the and. So base on beat one, base triangle beat two, base on beat three, then skip one and add a triangle. And then beat four is gonna be normal, base triangle. We're gonna do that exact same pattern again on measure eight. Again, base on beat one, base triangle beat two, base on beat three, but then we're gonna skip one, add the triangle. And then beat four is normal, bass snare. Great. Once you've got that um, beat going in the bottom, this would be a good place to stop, take a pause and make sure you get all of that correct. Double check with your neighbors. But once the, um, oh, and I forgot this too, we're gonna to drag our tempo down to 115 beats per minute. There you go. All right, so once you've got the rhythm for the drums in the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and add these bass notes. And this is very important that you pay close attention because the bass notes do not line up with the drum pattern. They're a little bit off beat, okay? They use some syncopation. So again, we're in the key of E and we're gonna start on La, starting from the bottom. So that's do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la. So that's going to be our la. And the bass line is just a pattern. It goes la, re, so, do, la, re, so, do. Understand? And that just kind of repeats throughout the whole pattern. So every single white measure has the same bass pattern. Measures one, three, five, and seven has the same pattern in the bass. Similarly, me the gray measures, measures two, four, six, and eight also have the exact same pattern. It's really easy on those because it's one note. So let's take a look at our white measure, measure one. Starts on beat one with that light red. On beat two, we're gonna start with two skips. Skip, skip, green on beat two so that it's on the and. 
and then measure three is, or sorry, excuse me, beat three is blank. But beat four, we're going to do skip, skip, pink. And that's the end of measure one. On measure two, starting at the gray section, it's pretty easy. Just six skips. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the lowest note, yellow. That's your dough. And then the rest are skips. And then again, measure three is the exact same as measure one. Starts on la, that light red. Then one, two, three, four, five skips to a green on the end of measure two. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skips and a pink skip. So just pink skip at the end of that measure on the end of beat four. And then measure four is going to be the same as measure two. Six skips and a yellow over here. Six skips and a yellow. And that's the same pattern. It just keeps going. So good time to freeze here. It measures one, two, three, and four. And if you're done there, you can scroll this over. and start at measure five. And here you can clearly see measures five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's take a listen to our bass notes with the drums. Double check your tempo, make sure it's 115. Okay, so far so good. So the next step that we're gonna take is we're going to be adding the chords on top of the bass notes. So here you can see these were our bass notes. And all we're doing is skipping one and adding two notes on top of each. So come back over here to your first bass note. And going up, we're gonna skip one and skip one. Now, obviously, it's important that you are scrolled all the way down when you make your bass line over here on the right side, because that way you're going to be in the lowest octaves, okay? And then same thing for our second bass note. And our third bass note. And then measure two, same thing. All we're doing is skip one, add a note, skip one, add a note. So each chord has three notes. And then we keep doing that for the rest of the song. Here's a good place to pause to get the first four measures. Make sure it looks just like mine. And if you're ready, we're going to scroll on over. It's measures five, six, seven, and eight. Same exact pattern. Life's easy, guys. Oops. Get rid of some of that. Obviously, I would benefit from having my mouse today. Instead, I'm using the touchpad. And that's the entire bass line for the song with the chords now. So, good place to pause. Make sure the measures 5, 6, 7, and 8 look just like mine. And now we're going to scroll to the beginning and give it a play and make sure that everything sounds right. Great, guys. So as long as you've been really careful about checking your spaces and counting well, uh, you should be on the right track. The last step is we need to add our melody on top. And over here, you can get an idea of how this melody is going to start for measure one. It starts with a nice onbeat little uh, pattern descending. Okay, so now 
we're going to want to scroll up on the right side so that we're able to see the top octave. So take your blue bar and scroll it all the way up. Great. And of course, make sure that you're all the way at the beginning for measure one. And it's going to start on that light red. That's your law. And then beat two. So is the pink. Ba. And then beat four is just a little tricky. Mi. Oh, red. So look at beat four. It's going to be this darker blue for me, then a skip. Then the last two parts of the beat are yellow green on the last two columns of the measure. So beat four is the only tricky measure. It's going to be dark blue, skip, yellow, green. Take your time on measure one. And measure two. going to start on a skip. And then you skip B2. B2 is all just nothing there. And then so B3 is going to be dark blue, two skips, skip, skip. Then yellow on the last part of the beat. Then beat four is three more yellows connected to that one with the rest of the end. Double check that one carefully. The melody is very tricky in terms of the rhythm, so you really need to count your spaces. Again, beat one starts with a rest column, two yellows, rest at the end of beat one. Beat two is completely blank. Beat three is going to have me on beat one, then two skips, then yellow, 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 skip at the end of beat four. All right, let's keep going to measures three and four. And this also starts on the same descending pattern as measure one. So measure one is the exact same pattern as measure three. Here's the tricky part on beat four. You start on dark blue, skip a column, then yellow green. And then measure four is gonna go really simple. I don't believe there are any other notes on measure four. And indeed there are not any other notes on measure four. So measure four might be the easiest measure in the whole song in terms of the melody. All right, so take, take your time. Make sure that uh, measures one, two, three, and four are correct in melody. Good place to pause and check that. But we're gonna go a little further now scroll over until you start on measure five, which is a white measure. All right. And I can see five, six, seven, and eight. I'll do the same on my prototype. This part gets very tricky. So again, I'm scrolling over to see measure five. And measure five starts down in the second octave, a little bit lower than the top octave. And you start in that red, orange, skip, yellow. So that's a tricky rhythm, red, orange, skip, yellow. Now from this point on, we've got kind of a skip between each note, you'll see. So in beat one on do, la ti do, la ti skip do, and then beat two is going to be on a skip. So it starts on a skip, skip, me skip, ba skip. And that's measure one. La ti do re mi fa mi fa so. And 
check that. Yeah, looks correct. Now we're going to go on to measure six. Good place to stop and finish measure one. You have to be very careful with your rhythms because right at the beginning, you don't have a skip, but then everything else has a skip column in between. And measure six. Another tricky rhythm. And here on beat three, we got a tricky rhythm. So it starts on a skip column. So, skip, so, skip, so, skip, la, skip, so. Then on beat three, we're going to add skip, re, mi. Skip, the beginning of beat three. Re, mi. Then beat four. Bingo. So a good place to stop and check measure six. Take your time on this one, guys. Tricky measure or um, tricky measure rhythm wise, right? A little bit all over the place. But if you're ready there, we're going to unpause and go to measure seven. And measure seven is easy. It's the same as measures one and three in the melody. It starts in that descending pattern. Oops. And again, just be a little bit careful with that beat four. Starts on dark blue, skip. Do, re. A little bit of a tricky rhythm. And then the last and final measure. And this one's not as easy as measure four. It's a little bit tougher. Starts on the skip. Skip, do, do is the yellow. And then here at the end, on the end of two, so two, beat two starts on skip, skip, yellow. And then we're going to go down to beat three. And again, beat three is pink, skip, yellow, skip. And beat four is going to be pink, skip, yellow, skip. And good place to pause and really check measure eight. Make sure that we're not tripping at the finish line. And if yours looks like mine, you should be so good, guys. All right, so double check your patterns for measures five, six, seven. And then I'll scroll over just a little bit. So you can see the end of measure eight. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. Make sure that there are no little errors. You'll hear them if something's off by a little bit. And that'll give you a chance to move the squares around as you need them. Here we go from the beginning. Fingers crossed, guys. save your work you just go down here to the check and then you're going to click on copy link and then you can go to a word document or a document of pages or whatever you have on your computer and then click hold control and hit v and that'll paste it for you guys all right light it up like dynamite good job guys thank you